We're standing in the Women's Commission Gallery of Defiance College and we're in our uh, senior show exhibition this year and it happens to be a really strong show. I'll tell you a little bit about the program. Uh, in some ways typical for a small liberal arts college, uh, every student on campus is required at some point to take an art course and so we have from rank beginners to those that we would call very good art majors sometimes in the same courses and that mixture works very well for us. It can encourage each other. Uh, our art majors, which you see here, the uh, 11 or 12 students this year graduating in art, um, this is part of their culmination experience. This is the, the, the showing off the end of their work after four hard years of uh, growing with us. In some of the other paintings and etchings and prints we see, we can see the development from drawing class through figure drawing class uh, into a painting class. And that's what we really hope what happens uh, on, on a regular basis. We look at pieces, we go, well, why are they made? This is a piece by Dan Malm called Katie. And it's just this ornery little kid. And we've all run into this ornery little kid from time to time and wanted to smack him. But uh, to, to think of that as a source for a painting, you get this sense of orneriness, this sense of frustration. And sometimes art should just be fun. And this is just a funny piece to look at. It, it makes me smile. And that's a good result from art, I think. Sometimes pieces make me cry. This makes me smile. What I like to tell prospective students coming in is you need to decide what kind of school you want to be at. You want to be at a big school or a little school, and if a little school fits your personality, what we want to do is dream with you and help you get to that dream and what steps can we encourage you along the way to, to become an artist. And from this exhibition you'll be able to see there's a very wide range of taste. Uh, students are very often influenced by what uh, Doug or I or Kathy or Mike might do, but we encourage them to develop their own style uh, through their own experiences to get to a place that we like to say that our art tells stories, we're storytellers, and that these stories come across, your ideas come across through the media that we teach, and that's what we try to encourage. So it's not just a ceramics class, a drawing class, a sculpture class, all of these things come together and we hope that students retain what they get in one class and grow and push that in the other.